TJ Technologies is proud to sponsor today's Farm Basics. Micronutrients are essential for healthy and productive growth in lawns, gardens, and crops. Check us out at tjmicromix.com because it's the little things that make a big difference. In Farm Basics today we're going to talk about musical instruments. It's the xylophone. <laughs> no, not quite. Oh wait, there's some, something with an X. <laughs> oh yeah, xylem, xylem, that's it. Xylem and phloem, they're actually two different transport systems within the plant. Now you may say, wait a minute, those are kind of some strange terms, xylem and phloem. Well, they are very important in understanding how plants grow. We'll explain. Yeah, now we're going to take you back to biology class back years and years ago for Darren and me. Well, I don't know if I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I really don't remember xylem and phloem <laughs> discussions ever. But these two transport systems do so much in plants and without the xylem and phloem there's no plant that could live. So here's the major difference. With xylem it only transports things upward in the plant. So it will mainly move water but it can also move some nutrients and it only moves up. The phloem can move down or up. That's a big difference and a big distinguishing factor between the two. Well, when leaves are gathering sunlight energy and turning that into plant energy, they're actually transporting that energy down into the root system, down through that phloem. And that energy would be sugars primarily or organic nutrients. For the xylem, when we're talking about things that are moving upward, it's kind of interesting when we're very interested in protecting plants, like against diseases, for example. When we're spraying plants for foliar diseases, those foliar fungicides actually will get into the plant into the xylem so they only move up yeah. so it's kind of interesting to understand if maybe you have tomatoes in your garden and you say wow I've got some diseases coming into my tomatoes I want to get those things sprayed you have to do a good job covering that plant from top to bottom that way fungicide can move through the xylem and move up and protect the plant. Yeah so specifically when we're talking about foliar fungicides think of headline Quadris, Quilt, Stratego, those types of products, that's what we're talking about here, and they move in the xylem. So this is the reason why we're talking to farmers all the time that they need to use more water volume when they're spraying and more spray pressure in order to get good coverage down even on the lower leaves of plants. Because again, when the product only moves in the xylem, which is only moving up, if you don't cover the lower leaves of the plant, there's no way that fungicide can get back down and get it protected. Okay, well here's the other thing though. Let's say that you have a garden and you say, you know, in between my rows I've got a few weeds and I'm going to spray some Roundup because I don't want to put something on the soil that may harm one plant and be nice to the other. I want something that's just going to kill the weeds. I'm going to be very careful just to get my spray droplets on the weeds. How well do I have to cover them? Well, Roundup is completely different than these fungicides yep. we talk about. It moves in the phloem. So Roundup actually will move down through the plant and down all the way through the root system to kill weeds, roots and all. That's kind of interesting. And also the other interesting thing about this is with Roundup, you think about where it kills weeds first. In other words, let's say you have a weed that has multiple growing points, like take lamb's quarters for example. We talked about that on last week's show. If a lamb's quarters plant has 30 different growing points, the Roundup for some reason moves to the most active growing point first and then it continues working its way down the plant from most active to least active growing points. Well the reason why that happens is the phloem is moving sugars in the plant and where do you think sugars and most of the nutrients need to go? They need to go to the most actively growing part of the plant and so that's the reason why Roundup ends up killing the top growing points first and working its way down. Well, the other question that we get about especially flowers and gardens is how do I need to water them? Do I need to spray water on tops of the plants or do I just need to put it on the ground? Really for the most part it doesn't make a big difference because those plants are going to move that water up through the xylem and the phloem throughout the plant. The thing that you want to watch out for is if you ever have any issues with insects, especially ones that bore into the stalk, that can disrupt that flow of water and nutrients and really hurt your plant growth. So it's important to think about that when you're talking about insect control, disease control, even fertilizer and nutrient applications. Plants can move those things throughout the plant if they have a healthy stock with a good xylem and phloem. Well, another thing that's important if your plants are going to do well this year is having great weed control, especially if you've got our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 